Hello, it's Sarah, and I got I have something to show you guys. Uh, these are ATCs. Oh no, I, there's probably a glare. I kind of came across these, and the the last piece that we did for our art journal. This is the June art journal page that I've been doing monthly art journal pages, and I put two and two together or whatever. And look, this is my favorite. I am in love. And the thing is, guys, it's just because of all the extra. You know, I mean, adding the, the micro beads, stickles. This is Perfect Pearls. No, wait, what is that called? I think it is called Perfect Pearls. But it's all this stuff that I've had. What's this called? Oh, Liquid Pearls. I always call it Perfect Pearls. But look how the micro beads look on the water. Can you see that? Look, it's actually dimensional. Um, I've been using Robin Marie, I think, is the one. She's an artist uh, that mentioned that she uses the inside of mailer envelopes. So that's what this red is, the green, the boat, um, and look, and then this one. So, I've been playing around with that, um, using different papers, maps, a lot of maps lately, and then I just brayered my background. So we're going to play today and try to create something as delightful as these. I really love these. Um, live your dream, life is good, and travel the world. Um, super simple but a little time consuming. So I'll show you what I've already done. Let me go back up. First thing you're gonna need to do is gather up, and I'm chewing gum. Hopefully it won't be too annoying, but I just had coffee. Oh, and I have a cut on my thumb. I was cutting potatoes and got myself, because I'm hasty. But I've gathered up some papers, and you can use anything, guys. Use what you have. But like I said, Robin Murray is the one who inspired using the inside of mailer envelopes. So I don't even know where this one, it's a security envelope, that's what they are. But I've, I have green, black, red, and like a lot of grays. So there's different patterns and gray. So I've been, oh, and I found a blue, I got a blue. Um, so anywho, music sheets and different, um, written pages, different size fonts I like. This is a Target one, it says the red card. All right, so gather those up, and I mean, hey, use, um, what are they, your um, monoprints, whatever, Stro scrapbook paper, okay? Then you're gonna, I'm gonna do um, beach. I was going with summer, so these kind of were inspiring me to do summer. Well, these ones are, these are just, these are using, and I'm going to be using again. Well, this one's not, but these two, no, this one's not either. This one is um, punches. The only punch I'm using this time is a circle for my son. But you can use punches. These are different flower punches, and then that, I just drew that. Um, and then I cut them out of different paper. So I drew my little bird. This one I just uh, drew out my little houses on... Um, printed paper, printed pages, and this one is what we're using today, and that's Lawn Fawn Stamps, and I've had these forever. Lawn Fawn's one of my favorite stamp companies. They make really, really sweet patterns, and they stamp out really well. Um, so this was a summer one. Let's see what it's called. Life is good. Yes, it is. So I just basically grabbed like the palm tree and the little beach sceney stuff. I think the I could do a lighthouse, but I'm I'm tending toward the beach. I want to just do beach. So um, I've already stamped out a lot of different stuff on to different um, p bits and pieces of that paper. So here's my palm tree, and I'll do this with you. Let's do a palm tree. So I've got my palm tree here, and I'm going to use green, a piece of green for the foliage part, 
And what did I use for my tray? Just this little speckled, this one. This little speckled piece of, uh, and I don't know why, I just liked it. So we're basically just going to stamp it out twice, and I use uh, Archival as my ink. And where's my little, my stamper? Here it is. I can't find any of my small stamp blocks, so I use this Jimungus thing, but it's good. And we're just going to stamp it out twice, once onto the green and once onto the uh, bla uh, black, I guess it's black. I don't, I don't need the um, trunk on that one, so that's okay. This one I want to focus more on the trunk, so make sure I give it a push on the trunk area. I think this is a Fiskars, um, yeah, Fiskars stamp block. It's really good, actually. It's just big. All right, so we are done. I am done. So I took the time to go ahead and do all the stamping and cutting already because it's time consuming, but I just sat here and watched TV and did it. And you can just stamp right onto your ATC, but I love the collage part of it. I happen to like collage. So we're going to cut out both of the pieces. Well, on the, on the, oh, where's my green? Here it is. On this one, I just need the foliage part of the tree. And I've already um, done one, but basically I, I needed two palm trees because one of my ATCs, now an ATC, is two and a half by three and a half inches. Um, they can be anything. They can be anything you want, and they're meant to be traded. So it's an artist trade artist trading card. About they're the size of baseball cards. So when I first started on YouTube, um, Art and Sassy was still there. And I did some swaps with them, and um, you know, some people fudge on on swaps. They don't send you their side of the story. I've had that happen to me a couple times. But in the beginning, I was so exciting, excited to swap with people. And you guys have sent me lots of stuff. Um, I've swapped ATCs with you guys too. So there, there's my foliage. <coughs> And then this one, I'm going to cut the whole thing out. And then we're going to glue the foliage to the tray. And that has then colored it. So I'll cut that out off camera. See? So this is what you're going to end up with. A little palm tree. And then I'll touch it up with paint too. But I wanted the texture of the paper. And I just think it's freaking cool. Sorry, I get really excited. So I'll do that off camera. Um, so the first thing we need to do is prepare our background. And I'm going to use the brayer technique, just like I did um, on our art journal page. So those of you who did the art journal page with me, you can um, just fast forward through this. And But it's interesting because I want to do mostly sand. So I'm not sure what these colors are going to look like. So I have mostly sand and a little bit of sky. <laughs> no water. I guess I could put, there generally wouldn't be water up front, but you know what? I could put a little water up front too. I think I might do that. I think I'm going to do that. Because then it could be like, see, usually the water it would be water and then sky, right? The water is usually on the horizon. But what if we were at a lake? There could be, huh. I really like the idea though, to have a little bit of water in the front kind of coming up. I think I'm gonna do it. Let's just do it. All right, so I have my briar and this is the, I'm pretty sure this is the ranger briar. Let me just put this here so I don't mess up. And I've got buttermilk, trail tan, burnt sienna. 
So that was my beachy colors. And then, see I don't have, oh, I know what I wanted to use, gold. I definitely wanted to use, sorry, I gotta get this out of the way. Gold, gold, gold. Just a little bit. So here it is. So this is just metallic, glorious gold by DecoArt. I think I'm gonna do it. Cause I could use blue paper to make, let's just start with this. Let me just start with this. So I think I'm gonna start with dark and I'm just gonna go down the middle and then we'll put blue and blue at the top and bottom. So let's just, I'm just gonna use my craft mat and I should have a piece of paper. I'll use deli paper to clean my brayer. And gently, just gently. Oh, it looks beachy already. I love it. Just gently put some color. I love it. OMG. And I'm just covering the whole thing. What the heck? And I'll put it on here. All right, let's get that off here. Then I'm going to go, I start darkest to lightest, trail tan, and I don't know why, it's just because, oh, happy 4th of July. We already had our barbecues, and uh, we've been doing, my hubby's home, so he's been doing lots of around the house stuff, and today he's just taking it easy before he goes back to work, so it's a perfect crafting day. We've had enough sun this week, and we're just going to... Take it easy. And so, that's not bad. I'm not hating it. It's just, it's different because I'm so, I always like to work with bright, bright color. So, it's different, which I like different. It's fun to do different stuff. Um, Maybe the gold next, and then the light buttermilk. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do the gold. But that's looking very beachy. I'm very excited. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the blue to cover. I could use paper. We'll figure it out. Oh, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Love metallic. Love it. OMG. Am I zoomed in? I am zoomed in. Sorry. Look how gorgeous. OMG. I love it. And I, this is actually, I should have said that, a uh, file folder. And I think I've gotten these at the Dollar, Dollar Tree. These aren't the really super sturdy ones, which is, I do have some of those from uh, <clears throat> Staples, but the Dollar Tree is the way to go. I just want a little bit. Right there. Man, this is good. All right, I'm slapping this sucker down. You notice I haven't really wiped my brayer. I don't tend to be, look at my craft mat. It's covered in paint. All right, that's dirty. Maybe I'll wipe my brayer. All right little bit of light buttermilk and I have white too maybe I'll come back with white on the top and bottom specifically so that when I put the blue on it'll cover better see so you can always oh <laughs> my hand was wet boy I am I am a hazard I almost broke my nail Can't really see that. I think you 
can actually. It's just that it's the same color as and remember I'm I'm gonna shade this whole thing with floating so I don't really know that that I think white I'm gonna have to go with white so we'll put the light buttermilk back and we'll just go with white and I will keep it more towards the top and bottom and I'm gonna do these ATCs on um, a vertical not the horizontal so fine if I just put it all over I think I like it I think it's I think it's good and we're gonna shade and everything so I'm I like that it's kind of very sheer and the um, <clears throat> Manila folder is like the perfect color. So if you don't have a file folder, like just one of a regular Manila tag like this, you could make a tag. Just do this to your tag, and then you'll have a nice beachy background. All right. So, do I want to cut this? No, no, no. First. Before we cut it, I think I'm going to add, see, but maybe I won't add water on the bottom on all of them. So I'll definitely do sky. Let's do um, a horizon line, or it would be a beachy, right? So I'm just going to go make a little kind of sandy horizon line. I like that. And I'm going to put my sky in with, should I put a little blue up there? Yeah, I'm gonna put some metallic <clears throat> peacock pearl. Let's put a little bit of this, and this is gonna be tricky. <clears throat> Sorry, but let's try it. That's a lot of paint. I don't want that much paint. Metallic pe peacock pearl, and this is a uh, deco art metallics. Love it. Love, love, love. Love. I'm loving. Now look at all this paint I put out. I'm a mess. This is a mess. Mess, mess. But this could be really cool eventually. So let me wipe this off. I get excited, guys. I don't know. Watching it come together. You know what? I could add purple now, now, now. Calm down. I'm going to put clouds in the skies. And as I did this, I realized my clouds are probably a little too big. Maybe I'll just have clouds that peek in from the edges. I'll show you. Or I don't have to do them that way. I could just paint them in or whatever. So we'll see what happens. I just already cut out a couple of different um, cloud shapes out of paper. So, now what do I want to do? Well, I'm really dying to just shade that and get it 
looking so amazing. But one more thing here. I'm going to add one more color to the sky because I'm going to shade with the darker color. I think I want to bring Whispering Turquoise. So this is not metallic. I think I'm going to add, I kind of want to do like a, just a blue, like, I don't really have, like, sapphire is too dark, because see how dark, sapphire is actually really pretty. I think I'm going to do sapphire. I'm going to do sapphire. Because we're using the brayer, I can just hit it gently. I have to tell myself, gently, gently. And I'll go to my oh yeah oh yeah And remember, this is background. You know what else, though? I forgot. We're going to stencil over this. We have to stencil, and we have to stamp. So we are not done yet, although you could be. Oh, I forgot. No, I did. I added it. Let's just wipe it up. Um, yeah, you certainly could be. I think we've got a nice-looking beachy background as it is. But, hey, listen, I am up for more fun. So, we are going to take the same colors that we just used for our, say, beach and what? Well, I want to use pat today. Haven't used that in a while. Maybe some circles. Um, parts. Ooh, drop them. I'm just going to put this fan on. It's hot, guys. We've been going through a little heat wave here in Jersey. I hope that's not going to interfere with my voice. But now I can add in some more of that white. Maybe I'll do the buttermilk. See, I put it away. But I think the buttermilk, I don't know, if we stencil it onto the... Um, I am going to do some of this. I don't know. And let's just see if it shows up. It is, but not. Yeah, I think I'm going to continue with the buttermilk. You know what would be better? Like light ivory or something? Or even, no, I'll go with this, it's fine. White is going to be your better bet. That's what I should be doing. You can see it, though. I'll do white, too. This will just be a, another layer. You can definitely see it. Okay. Um, ma, ma, ma. What about the burnt sienna? Maybe the darkest with this little pattern. I just reuse my cosmetic sponges. I just cut the little tip off. Along the bottom. 
Nice. See how I'm being gentle. I get proud of myself when I'm gentle. You see my ring? I have Where's Waldo and USA in there. That's my Origami L ring. Sorry, I probably wasn't in the shot. But you guys know I'll get back up in the shot, all right? I'm not going to forget about you. Look how cool. OMG. <sighs> I'm excited. <coughs> One more. Um, how about some gold circles? These are just the stencils I use for everything. Obviously this circle one, the circles aren't even circly anymore because they're so, there's some, I don't clean my stencil off, which is probably not a good thing, but I don't know. I'm lazy when it comes to that. Now Diane Reevely, I took a class with her, whose stencil this happens to be. Um, she cleans hers because she uses, um, her products, her paints, and her inks reactivate with water or, you know, moisture or whatever. So if you spray through it and there's some left on the stencil, it's gonna, it could come off on your project. So just to make sure that's not going to happen, she wipes everything off. Uh, which means it only takes, I have baby wipes right here. It doesn't mean, I mean, I could just wipe it off. Um, and then a little bit of white. And I'm going to do the white all the way up into the blue with this letter stamp. I'm sorry. Um, i got to move my camera a little because I'm working kind of close to the edge today, evidently. There we go. I just had to pull my tripod closer to the desk. Um... Yeah, so I can do this in the sky, too. I don't know if it's showing up. Yeah, it is. Uh, more paint. And guys, this is just going to show through very subtly. It is not your main focus. Don't get crazy over this part. It's a very, just a small part, but it is fun. I enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, don't do it. That's what I always say. What's the point? I don't know. There's no point to doing it if you don't enjoy it. I mean... Well, there is because you get a different result. Oh, that's a flop. But maybe we'll just put a cloud there. Now remember, I'm going to define everything with my floating, with paint. So let's do a little bit of stamping because I think it's, it's already getting... I could do some blue. Let's see. I think I have a nice, yeah. I have this uh, Azure Blue Stays On. I just want to do some, I love my script stamps so much. So I am going to flip this around and put some script in the sky. Man, that just brightened up that blue, right? And let's do some, I have brown too. Oh, I could use Timberline Brown and put some hearts. I love hearts too. In the sand. Ah, oh, that does not look brown. 
Ugh, it looks green. Shoot. Can't really take it off. Let me just see here. You know why? It's because I use the top of the stamp pad of the stamp all the time. So I'll go in upside down again. Let's do this. And hopefully that's brown. Eh, I don't know. Doesn't really look brown, does it? Hey, what 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 the Remember, it's background. That was a bummer because it doesn't really look brown. I was hoping it would look really brown, but sometimes your stamps will have residuals. That's why wiping them off is probably a yeah, good idea. Do as I say, not as I do, guys. I, think I just got some paint on there. Uh, I'm going to go with the briar one more time with some trail tan, I think. Trail tan? Yes. Yes. using up the paint that I put out. Alright, I think I gotta stop. And one thing I can definitely do before we cut this apart is some stamps away. A little bit of floating. Now I use a waxy palette. This is called a paper palette to float and I use an angle brush. This is my more beat up angle brush because um, with mixed media things aren't as smooth as they tend to be in regular decorative painting so I'm going to use the burnt umber I'm sorry burnt sienna and the I'm going to use Payne's gray wait a minute Payne's gray could go along the top but I think I want it to be like a lighter bright blue coming from the bottom it could even be a little yellow but you know what yellow and blue make green so I'm just going to do the top and the bottom and then I'll cut them apart into ATCs and we will really get started. That's where all the fun comes in. This is just prep, really. You know, even in decorative painting, you have to prep the piece. So you would base coat it and do all your faux finishing or anything like that, your background, before you really trace your pattern on and get started. So. That's exactly what this is. It's just a little bit more mixed media type stuff using all types of goodies. And I have invested quite a bit in tools and um, paper crafting supplies over this last little bit of time that I've been doing mixed media and paper crafting. So I love when I can come back and use those things. Now, maybe I don't want to use um, Payne's Gray. I think I'm going to go with the Sapphire first because um, Payne's Gray is a very dark color. No, I think I'm going to use it. Just on the, just on the edge, on the, for the border. And you know it was cool on this one, I actually took silver paint and just touched it to the edges and you can kind of see it. I'm in love with these. All right, this one's going to turn out super cute too. So let's get the Payne's Gray. Just 
just along, see how dark it is? So for me, I, it's hard for me to get anything light. I have to really be gentle because I am a heavy hand. Said it a million times, but it's true. And I could have just done that uh, after they're all cut apart. Maybe I'll just use this color blue. I need it to be a little bit darker. Uh, I guess sapphire. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the sapphire. Which I'm going to use this to, to put the um, horizon line in with. Yeah, let me just dry it, make sure everything's... Doesn't look like much now, guys. I think I'll make a part two, so when I'm done the background, part two will be putting on the focal images, right? And that way I won't make like an hour long video and you guys can kind of differentiate what you want to see. You can watch them all if you want. I like doing real time videos though so you get to see my thought process. And So let me see, I can kind of see my line. Yeah. Now I've loaded my brush I am using all the bristles just the paint is on the tip and there's water throughout and so it will go from dark to light to water so I go water blot corner load into the paint and then I br blend the paint into the brush and just stick the color up against that line and pull it down can't see where my line went there. I like that. I like having the um, the difference. Now, I'm going to cut it apart and we will do more shading. Now, I also did um, a piece of, this is sand, a little sand hill because ones, they're going to be three different ones instead of, and I thought about when I did these that I could have done, I should have moved things around and made them smaller and bigger, but I pretty much just did three different colors, same, like even the clouds are in the same position. Um, but it's a set of three, so, you know, that's fine. But for this one, this beachy theme, I'm going to change it up and there's going to be different characters. So when, when I come back for part two, I'll kind of have everything laid out and show you what we're going to do. Uh, you're going to need your Mod Podge <coughs> and all your little pieces of focal images all cut out and ready to go. Alright, so I'll be back for part two. Thanks you guys. Thanks for watching.